Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna bring to you guys today a little uh, video to help you decide which kayak cart you should choose. So I have two models from Genfine X, but what I'm gonna say is gonna apply to a lot of different brands of kayak cart, a lot of different models, and a lot of different models of kayaks. So I have two that are bunker bars adjustable. One folds up into a, <laughs> a really compact little package. As you guys can see, so this is the kayak cart and the magic behind this is that you just click, click, and you just unfold it, click. You just press that, unfold it, uh, like so, and just put it down and boom, you have your kayak cart. So this is really an origami like little cart, which is really nice. So let me put it there. So let me show you guys uh, which model of kayak cart you should choose uh, based on your needs, all right? So uh, these types of models are uh, more suited for kayak cart that have a hull design like pontoon, tri-hull, something like a um, old town or anything else. They're uh, suited also for round bottom kayaks, so your classic pelican or you know sun dolphin or just classic sit inside kayak that are round and they just going to contour the outside of the kayak and just being able to uh, to put it uh, put your cart directly on it so uh, this is the folding model uh, this is for uh, you know Gunfine X sent me that for testing and I managed to do some testing on it and a review so if you guys want to uh, see that you can go back on my channel and see uh, this thing is adjustable slightly from, uh, let me give you guys a dimension real quick. I have my good old measuring tape here. So, so this thing is adjustable from about 16 and a half inch side to side. And at its smallest, when you collapse it, it is adjustable to 13 inches. So this is the minimum and maximum. And at the minimum, this will not fit inside my kayak. You can see it's not fitting inside the groove. So, uh, like I said, this is good for maybe a tri hull design like the uh, uh, Old Towns, uh, PDLs, uh, Old Town, just uh, kayaks, sit on top kayaks. Uh, something with either a W shape or a round bottom kayak. So, this is also going to be good for a SUP. So if you got a paddle board, inflatable paddle board, hard paddle board, this is gonna be perfect because look how small it can compact down and just stretch out just a slightly. One inconvenience though of this model of cart is that when you shrink it down to its minimum position, uh, it makes it so the, the footprint, the wideness of the wheels are not so it's a little bit more prone to tipping from side to side so if you have an obstacle you have more chance of flipping the kayak so uh, that's one of the downsides of this model but this is suited for round bottom kayaks so your classic type of kayak so if you want something compact that you don't have to unscrew anything or undo anything uh, this is just perfect for that so uh, you know, like I said, if you have something light, so keep it for something that's not like a big, uh, like 14 feet, uh, fully equipped with lithium batteries, motors, and all that stuff that weighs like 300 pounds. This is not good for that. So this is a maximum capacity of 250 pounds, and I wouldn't exceed like 150 or something on it just to uh, be sure that you're not using it, uh, you know, the improper tool for the... Uh, for, for the job so let's put this one on the side and let's look at the one the latest one from Ganfind X so but you have a ton of similar style of kayak cart design and models especially in 2023 that are coming out similar to this so but this is just to show you guys the uh, the adjustability and the flexibility of this type so this is not as compact as the previous model that can fold down and just be a small little rectangular package that you could put anywhere on your cart or your SERP. But for me personally, I don't care. I'd, I just put that on the back of my kayak and it's just sitting there and it's, it's not an issue. So, But look at the adjustability. So the adjustability from that, 
you can make it fit just perfectly. Look at that, it fits in the groove perfect. And then I can transport my kayak. So fitting in between those two pontoon uh, inside the kayak for my pelican. So you can adjust it even smaller. So if I just unscrew that here a little bit, unscrew that here a little bit so now you can really adjust it so this is the minimum adjustment so this is really stuck <laughs> really together like uh like you know <laughs> it, it's that that way you know for storage maybe or something but uh it's not really useful but the magic is that you can adjust any which way from super large to uh to you know just the the right size that you need for your kayak so this is gonna do all the styles of kayak, W hull, like uh, the top waters. This is gonna do uh, bonafide. This is gonna do every type of kayak cart on a market. And this thing also breaks down uh, very easily. So you, all you have to do is pull a pin, take one of the wheels out, pull a pin on the other side, and just pull the other wheel out. Click, click. That simple. You just have your two wheels there. And after that, once you loosen up these screws here, you have to remove the washer, which is something that, you know, removing that washer is uh, something that you can't lose because this is an integral part of the kayak. It's still gonna function if you just put the wheel, but there's gonna be a little bit of play and it's gonna be a little bit more uh, difficult. So uh, just let me pop that out. So a little bit more play and it's, it's still gonna work but you're gonna put some wear on this uh, on this part. So just remember to keep that little washer and you can go buy to a, to a whoops. <laughs> like I said, don't lose it. But you can go to the hardware store and get these washers for inexpensive. So uh, they don't cost a lot of money. So after that, after you remove both washers on each side here, you just push that little tab in and just remove that, click. And then you have your washers. Like I said, don't lose them. And after that, all you have to do is pull those out, pull those bar out, and that's it. So I love when stuff is simple and easy to undo, to adjust, and all that stuff. So this is this is pretty much all your component. Uh, somebody wanted to see the uh, diameter of the shaft for the wheels because these are 8-inch wheels and they're a little bit small for this type of kayak cart, which is uh, rated up to 450 pounds. So... I have my little trusty caliper here, so I'm gonna give you guys, uh, give you that information. So if you want to upgrade the wheels, because I'm I'm guessing so this is why he asked uh, that the subscriber asked to uh, to know the diameter. So let's see in millimeters how much is it. So this is about 20.5 uh, millimeters. So 20.50 about. Yeah, 20.30 something uh, millimeters. So that's about the diameter of the shaft that you can expect. So if I let it just uh, loose, yeah, it's about, you know, 40, 42. So this is about your shaft diameter here. So 20.50, 20 point, yeah, about 20.50. So a little bit of variation, but you get it. It's, it's about that, uh, that size, so. It's one of the drawbacks of this model of cart and uh, Gunfind X assured me that in the future they are going to work on different model with bigger wheels and, and uh, you know stuff like that so uh, I wish that they could offer replacement wheels for this particular model and have an upgraded wheel set uh, like balloon wheels for beach but also uh, larger diameter wheels for uh, this model with some rubber backing or something so I think there's already a little uh, little layer of rubber on there so that's perfect but you know just larger diameter wheels ideally you want like around 12 that's the perfect size for that so let me just put it back together and hi guys so you have these model of kayak cart that are um, that are more for rounded bottom kayaks so you can see there's a little concave in there and these are not as adjustable as this model for different types of kayaks so if you have like multiple types multiple brands so you, let's say you have a fishing kayak you have a recreational kayak this is going to do more than your traditional 
kayak cart but they all share from this one which is more inexpensive around a hundred dollars a little bit more maybe 120 to the uh, expensive model like yak attack and wilderness systems uh, they all share similar designs so they have adjustable bars that you could adjust you know from center to center and uh, just really short or really large so you can fit multiple different types of kayaks so the traditional kayak cart like the pelican are limited to the recreational kayak so the round bottom kayak they won't fit something like the pelican catch mode or the bonafide or you know uh, maybe they're gonna fit the w hall from uh you know a um a old town a top water or something but uh, if you want the ultimate versatility in a kayak cart, get something that is adjustable like this one from Gainfine X. So this is their heavy duty kayak cart. Inexpensive, doesn't break the bank. Uh, wish they had bigger wheels, but they're gonna work on that in the future for future models. And yeah, guys, uh, you know, finding the best cart for you is the most important thing. And this isn't that expensive of a model versus other brands and it's quality, this is able to, uh, you know, transport my uh, Pelican Catch Mode 110 with full equipment. So, uh, you know, motors, batteries, and all that stuff, which I'll show you guys a review in the future, and you guys will be able to see that it is able to transport and just being able to go through different terrains uh, with this kayak cart. So, this is really nice. The only downside, like I said, is the wheels. So hopefully they'll come out with either upgraded wheels that you could purchase or uh, you know, a different model in the future which has larger wheels. But I really enjoy this model. This is super simple. And what, what's fun about these types of models is when you're laying it down on the ground, it's already positioned for you to place the cart on it. So no matter which side, it's always gonna be able positioned to uh, to hold itself with these two bunker bars. So they're naturally gonna hold themselves on the ground. So all you have to do is pick up your kayak, put it on there, it's gonna self-center and adjust automatically and fall into place and it's just gonna be perfect. So like I said, the traditional model of kayak cart that has been there forever and just that basic shape was originally designed for a rounded, uh, you know, recreational kayaks, which perform better in the water, but are are not meant for fishing. You know, they sit inside and they're not they're not the greatest, but they do glide and they do go easier to in the water. But if you're looking for something a little bit more universal, I would suggest going with this type of model uh, that is fully adjustable, that has more support, more capacity. Uh, more weights uh, that you could put on and it's just better overall so uh, design in my opinion the only thing is if you need something more compact then go with something that can fold down into a tiny little package and that is uh, you know just more compact and uh, that you could just stow in your your kayak or just put out of the way somewhere if you're limited on space if you have a big a big kayak like a fishing kayak like mine you can just put it on the back strap it down so it doesn't go flying in the water and you're good to go so uh, really enjoy this particular model guys of kayak cart uh, it's been really fun for me to be able to just transport my kayak either from my backyard to my car or when I'm going fishing and I have, let's say, uh, almost 500 meters to a half, a half a mile to do uh, just transporting this. I could just let it down and just, you know, rest if I need to, pick it back up. And if you get the balance just right, adjusting the balance point where most of the weight is, you're going to be able to hold your kayak, even if it's 400 pounds, just with your pinky. So if you get it balanced just right, you're going to just be able to hold your kayak with just your pinky. So this is really nice, guys. But yeah, so let me know in the comments if you find this video informative. If uh, you guys want to see a different model of cart in the future, just let me know in the comment. I'll see what I can do. But yeah, guys, so this model and the other model from Ganfine X, which is a great company that uh, produces kayak cart for a couple of years now. Uh, I've been producing kayak carts for a couple of years. 
and they have a couple of different innovative models so and they're always coming out with new model every year uh, to uh, to accommodate different style of kayaks and with different capability uh, different takedown methods or you know folding methods or stuff like that so really great company guys so a link for these two carts in the description if you're interested Amazon Canada and Amazon US links are going to be provided so Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.